it's sort of scary to think about what life's going to be like without it. No, she's not talking about life without her hair straighteners. This last Harry Potter film spells the end of seeing Emma, Daniel and Rupert in wizardry action. And haven't they come far? Just look at Emma here. What are you most looking forward to tonight? Uh, meeting all the famous actresses and actors. I've got my autograph book. <laughs> OMG, how cute. And now they're the ones being asked for their autographs. Emma's probably changed the most over the years and she's become somewhat of a fashion icon in the process. As well as being named amongst Hollywood's highest paid actors in 2009, along with Daniel Radcliffe, who doesn't seem to have changed at all. Look how nervous he is here. You just want to pick him up and give him a cuddle. But Dan Rad has always kept his boyish charm and comes across quite excitable whenever we've met him. He does, however, have his head firmly screwed on and was praised for treading the boards in the hit theatre show Equus back in 2007. Half of the excitement of, you know, stepping up to do a new role is thinking, God, I might not be able to do this, but I'm going to give it a go. Last but not least, it's Rupert Grint, who finally managed to grow into the clothes he wore on the first premiere. Bless. Yep, he's gone from a cutesy boy to a more serious young man. I keep reminding myself, because I keep thinking kind of next year we'll be back. But we really, we really won't, and it really is the end.